How to avoid taxes as an athlete 101. Disclaimer. This is not legal advice or financial advice. You should contact a lawyer before starting your own business. The laws used as this video are Norwegian ones, but other countries have pretty much the same laws. Chapter 1. The boundary between sports as a hobby and sports as a taxable activity. First, we look at what the main provision 5-1 of the Tax Act says about taxable income. Taxable income is any benefit gained through work, capital, or business as well as pension, maternity allowance, and annuity. This provision is used for athletes as they do not have a separate section that regulates them. If an athlete has income through sport, IT is not necessarily taxable. The problem then is to distinguish between what is a tax-related business and what is a hobby business. What is certain is that income from a hobby is not taxable. Unlike income from a business, and you cannot get a deduction for the costs of a hobby business either. We must first determine whether the athlete is running a business or not. To determine whether the athlete is running a business or not, we must look at three points. Number one, the scope and duration of the business. Case law shows that there are not always strict requirements for scope and duration. If your aim is to earn money as an athlete in the future, this is more than good enough reason to start a business as a professional athlete. Number two, the business must be run at your own expense and risk. This means that the athlete himself must cover costs associated with the sport and other things that are necessary to be able to do the sport. What lies in the concept of risk is that the athlete may run the risk of incurring a loss through the practice of his sport and must then possibly cover this loss himself. Number 3. The business must be of an economic nature and suitable for making a profit. For it to be considered economic activity, it is not sufficient to have income if the costs are constantly greater than the income. It is not certain that an athlete will make a profit in the short term, such as at the start of their career. Here, one must look at whether the athlete can make a profit in the longer term. If you are a newly divorced 40-year-old midlife crisis guy who is going to start a business as a professional athlete, you should get yourselves some good lawyers because you are never going to make a profit in the long run long. If an athlete makes a loss year after year and according to the criteria, he is a taxable person business, he can carry forward the accumulated deficit in the year in which he first achieves a profit. This means that you will have your tax reduced when you finally start earning money as an athlete. Chapter 2. Costs and Deductions. Section 6 minus 1 of the Tax Act says the following about deductions. For costs, deductions are given for costs that are incurred to acquire, maintain or secure. If the athlete drives tax-related activities, he can therefore claim a deduction for the costs associated with the sport. According to Section 14 minus 2 of the Tax Act, deduction of costs must take place in the income year in which the cost is incurred. Examples. Sports equipment skis, poles, clothes etc. Travel and transport costs travel to training and competitions, but not private vacations. Also Section 644 one of the Tax Act covers travel between home and workplace. The workplace in this case will then be where the athlete normally carries out his regular training. This law states deductions are given for travel between home and place of work and visiting trips in accordance with 6-13, according to regulations laid down by the ministry based on travel distance and frequency of travel. The deduction is limited to the part of the amount that exceeds 13,700 Norwegian kroners. When you look at the regulations, of this act only allow deductions for journeys that are at least 2.5 kilometers each way. Medical and physical treatment. Many athletes have costs linked to doctor's visits and possible treatment by physiotherapists, chiropractors. Such costs as mentioned above will be deductible according to Sktal 6-1. This is because these treatments are carried out and the costs arise to acquire, maintain, or secure taxable income, quotas and insurances. These costs are also deductible. Food. Food is a cost which according to Stahl, 6-1-2 is not deductible. This is because food is seen as a private cost and Stahl, 6-1-2 says, 
No deduction is given for private costs for the taxpayer himself or his family, including costs for accommodation, food and entertainment. Many athletes have a great need for these extra nutrients and extra food in order to perform at a continuously high level, win and recover in the best possible way. Dietary supplements and foods that go outside the normal diet can thus be seen as an additional cost and thus eligible for deduction. If an athlete spends a lot of time away from home, as athletes often do, these can the additional costs will be covered as additional costs for food and lodging according to Paul. 6 minus 13. Taxpayers who for reasons of work must live outside their home are given a deduction for additional costs due to the absence. This means that when the athlete is at training sessions and competitions, Costs related to food can be deducted. Consultant and advisor. In some cases, athletes may need advisors, lawyers, consultants, or agents to help them with various matters that they do not have enough confidence to carry out on their own. The athlete can receive a deduction for these costs if the expenses have been incurred and can be documented. This is because these costs can be seen as part of acquiring, maintaining, or securing taxable income. CF. Section 6 minus 1. Deficit. If a taxpayer has had a loss over several years in a row, in the first year in which he achieves a profit, he can deduct the accumulated loss so that the taxable income is reduced. As an example, in this context, we can imagine a top athlete who engages in taxable business and has made a profit over a long period of time. A year later, he becomes damaged and due to this damage, is running at a loss. He can then deduct this the deficit in the year he recovers and makes a profit through sports again. Other fees. There are also rules regarding price money in foreign countries, but it is not going to be relevant to most of you. If you have any questions on the topic please comment below or send an email to mulleggchannel at yahoo.com.